it on the table that's going to be right there. Write it down. There's going to be a little pad right in front of you. You're going to write it down on a little pad. Right. How much of a pause do we have between all the fashion? None. No, you don't even look at her. Wow, you're right. Shackley's going to get it. Okay. Shackley, you don't come up and, and put that down until they're done talking. Okay, because they're saying nasty things about you. Okay. Okay? Let's start from your telephone call. Yes, it's Baxter and Corolla. It's time for afternoon mid. Also give bed 401A another bowl of bread cereal and bed 402B a peach in a box. Walk out and start talking. Yeah. She pushes the card out. While you're talking, she's giving her extra. I don't know. Hold it. Take it back to the announcer. But this is after she's through saying, let's see. No. No? So no. This is changed from the script. That's an afterthought. Okay? Bed 401A, another bowl of brand cereal, and bed 402B, and sleep in a box. Now cross to the center. This way you're looking. It's practically gone completely out of the tree. That's this right. Is why you can't turn your body that way. Right. Oh, it's, it's constipated one. That's right. Shockley's done it again. She's in another world. We just have to change the medication to the the right patient. But you'll see about it before again. The waters. But if we don't, Mr. Owens won't take a shit for days. And Miss White Cassidy, she'll have a pack of the lungs and we'll have a hell of a mess to clean up. You're right. Our first duty is to the patient. Now, when he gets the patient, for them. When he gets the patient, the thing should be right up there, okay? Besides, you'll never get out of this part to take a place if we don't. You know, you have to... My patient is supposed to be on stage. I know. We'll be there. Come on, let's see the enema. No. <laughs> no. You lift the leg. You already, you already did. Okay. <laughs> That's a good enema. <laughs> Uh, 
How dare you go against my orders and put these poor old people's lives in jeopardy? Not me, but we're fully aware of our responsibilities. That's why we did what we did. But Shackley, you're the one who's incompetent. She's right. If you check the shots once in a while, you see we were right. I don't have to check the charts. I am sure that every case is memorized. But you should have to know, please make no other choice. For your insubordination, you are free of eyes, and you can duty to distress the home until further notice. But that's not fair. If we'd given them, if we'd followed your orders, the patients would have gotten sick of That's it. That's fine. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. I never made a mistake. I want both of you out of my sight and the Birch Haven and that next elevator going down. Come on, Adrian. We'll go. If you haven't heard the last of this, <coughs> you frustrated old bitch. Oh, I know. Going, uh, going down, lady? I'd say so. I can't believe Gross injustice, I've just seen. Shoo! Can you believe the dog day we've had uh, on top of a bitch heaven? You walk, you walk over and sit on the couch. All right. Bitch doing it first. Bitch heaven bullshit. We couldn't cash our checks in the damn NCA breakdown. Yeah, thank God that guy out in the tracks knew what he was doing. I don't know what we're going to do. Honestly, maybe it is time we threw in our surgical gloves and everything else. No, seriously, something should be done about that shackling night. Yeah, like shackle her to the OR table and inject some air in her veins. You're still sitting. You're looking for cocaine. All right. All right. In your purse. All right. No one, no one said it would be easy, but uh, is that all there is? Somehow, it would all be worth it. If a uh, thing was waiting for me at home. Yeah. But who's there instead of this, but a cute guy named Chico, who will never be Mr. President. But he's clever enough, and he, uh, he excites me, no end, which would all be fine, except for the fact that he's high all the time. And he has this annoying habit of grinding his teeth, which drives me up the wall, and he's six inches too short. Behind the way. Uh, hi. He's fully equipped with a problem with the party. Uh, well, we're thankful for what you've done. I don't have any more. In fact, it's been so long since the man even touched me. I'm touching you. I would feel good. Oh, well. The other day I call myself mentally. I'm so horny. The other day I call myself mentally. I'm dreadful. Oh, horny, are you? No way. Well, uh, maybe I'll get Chico to bring over one of his best friends for you. <laughs> no, thanks. I'm still looking for, uh, for uh, I'm still looking for the real thing, if it exists, or if he exists, rather. If I did do a one-night stand, I'd probably wake up feeling so empty in the morning, I'd be more depressed than I was before. I say, we forget what's happening for now. We've done enough say, uh, laboring for Labor Day. We gotta catch up to everyone else partying it up. It's Friday. Yes, I know. Everyone must be a lot higher than we are now. Well, we can start with a couple of snorts of this. What? George, you did it! I can't tell this. When you were in the parking lot, I went back upstairs and grabbed it when Shaxi's back was turned. Nothing seems to matter at that point since we uh, were canned. The way if she finds out now, we'll never get our jobs back. Nothing to worry about. shaxley has been covering up for Dr. Fabaskis for years. And has had it for years on the report. Believe me, she'll never know how much coke is really missing. Well, then, in that case, what do we wait for? Why don't I uh, lay out a couple of lines and why don't you be cheap with you and some coffee?
Good idea. 